我家老伯的，我来自于加拿大，从吉加拿大，听关山做视频。Hello, my name is Robert. I'm from Toronto, Canada. Are you thinking of moving to to Canada? I just thought I'd um make this video to explain to you the kind of standard that we have in Canada, the living standard and the life and the kind of um the quality of life that you will have when you when you are there. In Canada, we have um, multiculturalism. You you bring your culture from where you come from, and you you adapt into Canadian culture. You become German Canadian or Japanese Canadian or French Canadian or Brazilian Canadian. You can keep your your passport where you where you come from, and you can have a Canadian passport. You can have two or three passports. We have um, mosaic. They call it mosaic. This is when you you bring your culture from where you come from and you adapt it to Canadian culture. The Americans have um, melting pot. You're not allowed to to bring your your passport from where you come from. You only have to have an American passport. There are probably some exceptions, but they they call it melting pot. We have um, mosaic in Canada. It's it's much much different. The, um, the the schools are, are excellent. The, the health system is excellent. You have a, a card, and the the smoking and the uh, the alcohol pays for the, uh, the the health care. You get sick, you have a card. You just go to the hospital, and it's it's free. The health system is uh, is is free in Canada. And the respect for um, each other it is quite quite high. We're tolerant of each other. The, the racism is, is, is not so, it's not so, and the, the class system, we don't have a class system in, in Canada. Everyone is flat and we're all equal in, our, in Canada. And when you come, it will just take time to, to assimilate into uh, Canadian society. Now, um, when you come, they might place you somewhere in Nova Scotia or, or um, Manitoba or Saskatchewan like this, and from there you can move to Vancouver, or you can move to Toronto, or you can move to um, uh, Montreal, wherever it is that you, you want to go. Don't tell them that you want to uh, to go to Toronto or to Montreal because everybody wants to go to these uh, these cities. Just do as the um, at the consulate, do as they say when you have your, your interview, and just um, do as they say and go where they say. I think you have to stay there for a certain amount of time, and from there you can move to one of the larger uh, larger centers because in those those um, provinces. There's uh, fewer people in those provinces who are trying to spread out the, um, the population. So just do as they say, and then after, you can move to, to uh, where you like. Okay, when you come, just give it time. You might not know anybody. You might not have any family. You, you might. You might not. You might not speak English correctly. It will just take, um, take time. If you look in, in Google, you can find your, your, um, your, your, your culture if you're from Afghanistan or if you're from... Poland, or if you're from Russia, or from Brazil, you can look in Google and find um, um, the, where the restaurants are or where the discos are. So you can you can meet people from your your culture, and they can they can um, assimilate you faster. This way, you will feel at home because you you might feel alienated when you when you first come. You might not know anybody or speak the language correctly. So it will take time to um, to um, to assimilate into Canadian society. So you might check on Google to, to find out. For example, in Toronto, they have um, Little Italy. It's I Italian districts. If you're from Italy, you can go and you can meet uh, Italian people. They will speak Italian and they can assimilate you uh, faster. North of Toronto, they have um, Richmond Hill. It, there's many Italians living there, for, for example. There are Polish areas, Jewish areas, French areas in, in Toronto, the surrounding areas. So you can find people uh, from your community, wherever it is, which country you, you, uh, you came from. If you're looking for um, for work, you can um, do the interview with, with, with Zoom. You can ask do the interview with Zoom if you're looking for um, engineering work. For example, there's there's Magna. Magna is a big company north of uh, Toronto. They make all the, the parts for the for the cars for all the companies like this. And you can send your your resume. And you can have an interview with with, uh, with Zoom. They're always looking for people like this. There are many large large international companies in uh, in, uh, in in Canada.
Okay, um, thanks for watching this, this video. Please click like and subscribe. I hope to uh, read your comments. I'll reply to some of your comments. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, I'll catch you on, uh, on the next one. Thanks again. Take care.